But this HP uh, 8562B is packed up again. Um, and it keeps doing this. You think you fixed it. Uh, I never really ascertained what I'd do to it, but it just I've got no keyboard control. The instrument preset does work, that's the only key that will work. Um, now, this is indicative of a stuck keyboard, but as far as I can see, none of the keys are stuck. Um, and you can do a check by for checking a, uh, for a stuck keyboard by holding the uh, one of the keys down and pressing the instrument preset, and it should put on light two, but that's the problem anyway. So it's either a stuck keyboard, which I doubt very much, or it's possibly this controller board here. Um, now I've had this apart a couple of times now, and it's, uh, it's starting to get a bit sort of a uh, bit of a bore really. Um, this is the processor board. You see, there's no lights on, so the processor board suggests it's okay. But what I'm going to do now is swap out this processor board, and hopefully, this will come back to life. Um, I've had all these out and disconnected them, reconnected them up. It's not going to be anything to do with this. It's an interface between the keyboard and the and the processor, and basically that's all this this board does. So let's get this board swapped out and see if this fixes it. Okay, the new board's in. Let's try this. Same problem. Still got the same light on. Uh, and I expect no control over it. So, okay. That's the instrument preset again. And the lights come on when you press anything. So, alright. It's not that control board. So, the only thing I could do now, I suppose, is swap out this other processor board but I don't think I've got a processor board with any ROMs in it anymore so the other thing I could do is take the ROMs off the uh, this board and put them onto the other board I suppose I could do that but um, I don't know I, I'm starting to wonder if it is actually the keyboard uh, there is a fault with the keyboard I sort you know I sort this board out it's certainly not that because that's uh, exactly the same it's a really weird weird fault with this um, it's definitely all connected up on the back because that's the other thing, if you haven't got the cables connected up in the back, it will do strange things like that. But these are all connected up. Uh, do another pre instrument. No, nothing. Even though there's the tra sweeps running, just no control over the front panel. So, right, this, uh, I don't know, let's try another processor board. Alright. Oh. <laughs> I've been quite technical with this. I gave the front panel a bloody whack, and uh, looks good. So there is definitely a problem with the keyboard. So I think what I'm going to have to do is try and find, replace the uh, front keyboard. That's excellent. I've actually found a positive. Well, it positive. It definitely is. There's a there is a problem. There's a bad connection or a bad. I don't know what it is, but there's something wrong with the keyboard. I think they get the keyboard out. We'll see if we can clean that up. And it's the keyboard apart, um, and what it has is these like these little leaf springs, and you can see this little leaf spring here, um, and all that does is it pushes the switch up, make sure that the switch pulls off properly, and you can see the switch activating there. And a lot of people who've I've, I've seen on the internet have these HP bits of gear, and it makes this horrible clacking noise when you press it, and that's because these switches are dry. Um, so I've had a quick look through. Uh, Nothing looks obvious apart from this switch here, and this is the down switch. And this one's got the uh, the spring had actually broken. Um, it's in the bench somewhere now. It's snapped in half. Not much to see. Oh, here it is it's on the end of the pliers down there. Um, and so that's snapped in half. So that's a possibility that switch wasn't pulling out. But I did actually know that that switch was dodgy, and I did check to uh, make sure that's okay. And I sort of uh, pulled the switch out, but it was still coming up with that error light. There is other one other switch here, and this is the Hertz and uh, microvolt one. It's sort of like loose. Um, and you can see, I mean, I don't know the keys rattling, but you don't know if you can see the the red part behind it. The actual switch contact itself is a bit loose. Now, what I've done is um, these are sort of like m melted on on the back of the board. So I did the old trick with soldering iron and tried and pushed it down and um, reheated it, and it seems to be better actually. So what I was going to do with this one, I don't want to really replace the keyboard. The, the keyboards are hard to find and there is a num there are a number of different versions uh, and th this one here is um, I think one of the earlier type is what I was going to do is dose the thing down with contact cleaner just to make sure that the contacts are all clean um, and then I was going to put a small spring underneath this and then pop the the, uh, the switch back on 
the switch cap back on. Hopefully that will ensure that the thing will pull itself out because that's uh, that's all it's doing. All that spring is doing is making sure the switch is pulling off. But there's no obvious problems here. But it is this, it is definitely this this board because I gave it a, a severe bash on the front panel and that cleared the problem. And it, uh, they've always said that, haven't they? That the TV repairman used to come round and. Uh, First of all, you'd say it was probably your ITV valve. You couldn't receive ITV one, you know, or or ITV in those days. You'd give you a give it a bash and say, "I think you need a new ITV valve." And uh, of course, you know, basically what it was was a bad dry joint or a bad valve holder or something like that. And it's the same, I think, with this. There's an intermittent problem, um, and you can see it's, this keyboard's had a, probably a bit of a bash at some point. So you don't really know. How many reputations the, the, the uh, switches have had? It's probably had a lot of use. So I'm going to go through with the contact cleaner, um, and then I'm going to just pull up put a, uh, a lift off spring on here just to pull it off. Um, failing that, if it still messes about, I'll have to order another keyboard. Try and find a keyboard from the states. Um, there is a seller in the UK that's got a uh, a keyboard for one of these. Unfortunately, he's got the different controller, so it probably revert involved me buying a new um, A12 board and also the new front panel which I don't really want to spend any more money on this thing I've already bought a load of unnecessary parts so let's, uh, let's get this thing cleaned up uh, put it back together and see how we get on then back together again and it's definitely um, a dodgy keyboard uh, if I do a instrument preset I've got no, no error messages so I press this switch here and do another instrument preset. <laughs> well, trust me, that switch is dicky. This this switch here is messing around. Now, I don't know why why it is, but every now and then, I press that switch, it will show up at an instrument failure light. So at least I know what it is. It's going to need a new keyboard, I think. Uh, I'm going to find a spring for this one. I thought it was probably this one was sticking down. Um, but it don't think it is that and um, I'll, I'll demonstrate now actually as it's working correctly if you've got a stuck switch um, so I say for example if I hold this switch down here and press instrument preset you'll get the error of one light come up um, so there's intimately a sticking switch and I think it's that bloody switch there that's yeah there you go got it see so give it another tap Okay, so it's quite reassuring. To, I've actually finally found the fault. It's that switch there uh, after changing all the boards and things. Um, and I should really learn from my own mistakes, really. This uh, APN62 Rodin Schwartz signal generator, um, my, maybe my older um, subscribers will remember that I had all the front panel off because that was the same sort of thing. Couldn't get any control of the front panel. Changed the front panel chip that was like a like a 40 60 pin chip no avail and it was actually one of these switches here that was reading about 12 ohms all the time it had some sort of crud spilt in it cleaned it all out and fixed it so and it's also worth wearing in mind that sort of you can pick this sort of gear up with you know no control over the front panel and if you're lucky you can actually do a quite an easy repair um, at least I know what this is now I know that if it's uh, going to do it again which it's bound to until I change the front panel uh, I can actually get it fixed um, I can't see what's wrong with that apart from that switch had sort of broken free from its mounting I've re-glued it in position and I was hoping that was going to fix it but uh, and I've also sprayed all these switches in contact clean inside but uh, it's clearly uh, an intermittent problem but uh, it's working again and uh, I'm quite happy with that uh, and I'll just watch out for another uh, another keyboard